the mystery of emptiness. Ever wonder how we often dive into the pages of ancient scriptures discussing the vibe of emptiness? So, what's this emptiness all about? Emptiness is simply see who you are and see what you get. Existence reflects what you see. In there, endless possibilities unfold. Likewise, this little flower in a pot, chillin' on the table, did you spot it? Does the screen reveal its vibe just lounging there? This idea of emptiness means your energy today feeling pretty good, connected with my inner vibes. So, as you check out this potted flower glowing with hope in every nook, the info you read, the vibes you sense, all vibe with your existence. It's the emptiness thing, it always changing, every moment in the mix. Tomorrow, if you're feeling down, running into some bumps, you start to notice where things look a bit wilted, where it seems like it can't catch a break. And then you think, it's getting kinda ugly, why drop cash on flowers? And after that, feeling like, the more you spend, the more you're in the hole. Emptiness is the free translation of Sanskrit sanya, transliterated as shanruo. Its corresponding noun form in Sanskrit is sunyata. The free translation is emptiness, and transliterated as shanruo. In Tibetan Stongnaid, empty does not mean non-existence or absence in the ordinary literal sense, but means non-attachment to one's own nature. Nature means the essence. In other words, emptiness is the essence of non-attachment to things. This is what we call emptiness, endless possibilities. Same potted flower, see it as dirt, it's dirt, see it as gold, it's gold. Because all things radiate from you, project out, cast shadows, that's the emptiness gig. You get it? So who you are, what you see, what you bump into, that's just the way it is.